Welcome, everyone. The conference season is over, and I'm back doing what I love. For this video, we're going to analyze some amazing new footage from Wide Awake taken off of the western coast of Florida. It's probably Wide Awake's best footage to date. The foundation of the flat earth is observable, testable, and repeatable experiments that everyone can perform, and the Bible agrees. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. You don't have to be a Christian to know that's excellent advice for everyone, and that is exactly where our phony mainstream science has failed humanity. And that's what we're going to do today. Prove all things. You're going to see unequivocal proof that there is no curvature, ergo the earth is flat. We're going to use both the distance to the horizon and the target hidden height calculations to debunk the globe myth today. My friend Wide Awake's camera was only five feet above the water. Here is Wide Awake's cell phone footage capturing the fact that he was indeed filming the Cutter Rock bird rack as shown on the screen of the Nikon P1000, which we'll be taking a much closer look at. I've included Wide Awake's camera coordinates as well. I grabbed the coordinates of Cutter Rock from this government brochure. Like all of the bird racks, Cutter Rock is only 16 feet high. According to Google Earth, Cutter Rock was a huge 11.22 miles away from Wide Awake. Even this sunset footage shouldn't be possible on the globe. Do you think you'd see the reflection of the sun like this on bendy water and over curvature humps? And we can also use the sunlight reflection on the water to mark the apparent horizon as well. But let's get to the evidence. Let's freeze the frame here. That is Cutter Rock on the left a tiny boat on the right, and a closer boat in front. The footage is just awesome. Let's freeze it again. This is at full zoom on the P1000. If you remember, cut a rock was 11.22 miles away from the camera. What I also love about this frame is the tiny boat next to Cutter Rock. The boat appears to be even further than 11.22 miles because the base of the boat is higher perspectively than the base of Cutter Rock. Look at how tiny that boat is. Let's first look at the target hidden height calculation. According to the globe math, 48 feet should be hidden behind the curvature. In other words, this is what it should roughly look like if we lived on an imaginary globe. But we don't see that curvature hump in any manner, and there is no distortion accounting for selective curvature hopping mirages. But the globe horizon test is my favorite. Under the globe model, at an observation height of 5 feet, the horizon could not be further than a mere 2.7 miles. But the actual apparent horizon here is further than 12 miles. There's simply no way that this footage is possible on a globe. Did the huge bulge of water in front of the bird rack magically and selectively disappear and then reappear miles beyond the rack, all without affecting the rack itself? The globe claim is nonsense. The evidence is overwhelming. We don't live on a spinning ball vortexing through the vacuum of space at millions of miles per hour. The Earth is flat and stationary. And the truth is the only way that we can all be free. So please, share it everywhere you can because our time is limited. I don't think taboo conspiracy is going to be considered commercially viable. Thank you.